welcome to my Jamaican YouTube channel. On this channel, I take you on a journey to explore the vibrant and rich culture of Jamaica. Welcome to another episode. Today we have a special treat for you as we dive into the world of Jamaican reggae with the incredible Winston Flag Smith. Tell me about your journey as a musician. How, how, it start, how did well, it start and what inspired you to start? Well, <laughs> honestly, my mother was a singer in the choir when I was a young boy. Oh. So we just go to church and observe my mother in the choir. You know? This is what happened when we leave Canterbury because my mother married to a man and the man decides uh, he have some people where they have find some land for work. Mm -hmm. And this was up in Anchovy, about seven miles out of Montego Bay. Right. And the man decides to well, then move my mother and then mm -hmm. the family from Canterbury. Mm -hmm. And you know, so we, we, we all of it decide. Well, they, they could make a decision. Because Correct. I was a little boy at the time. But I was 15, going on 16. Mm -hmm. So when it all happened, I, 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 I was about to turn 16 that year. Right. When I moved to mm -hmm. Anchovy. When I moved to Anchovy now, I just go and look in the square there when they were to pass, to go in my yard, there was a bar where I have a pass mm -hmm. every day because it's right there, right there at the square, to the, the, the road that leads right. to my for my yard. Right. And me just me know the brother and my brother and the name Neil and a theme place so the bar the, operator. The bar operator. Mm -hmm. Well him own the bar, never really operated. My wife and and then just have a little a, a girl over the bar and you know he mm -hmm. just drive truck and you know right. but a theme bar. So we just hang out in there all the time mm -hmm. and you know, you more you, young youth and the whole of it, and them usually inside them, you know, there's a man in there gamble, and you know, so it was just a place we hang out. So we just hang out, and there was a jukebox there. Okay. So because the jukebox, so I always got the jukebox now, and 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 and, 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 and put in um, your coins. coin, 10 cent, and you get like four songs. I think I saw you okay. put 10 cents and you get four songs. So you punch them and punch up the song, them and mm -hmm. then grab them, okay. four of them, go, yeah, mm -hmm. four play mm -hmm. up one after the other. Right. And so they will go in there and sit and listen and just are listening music through the, this jukebox and they sing along with it. Yes, and yes. They sing along with it, sing along with it. So when they me inside, you know, and they sing along the cab, then we just, we just punch up enough Bob Marley and, you know, they sing along with them and a man. Who me know in the era to him was a youth where he was a he go Uwe, he named Calvin, Calvin Clark, he go Uwe, and he, he, he was what you call her, he was a um, I'm gonna say, he worked with youth development, youth mm -hmm. UDC, he just mm -hmm. worked with UDC, okay. So at the time, now he had him, 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 him loved music and him down in my yard and so he must one day him, him notice him have a guitar and him always hang out and play the guitar in a while like a year where we go all of we go and smoke weed mm -hmm. and we, him down there and one day me up at the, the shop I sing and him, him come in at the shop and I sing and I say come on man well, well, all the time I come to see I sing I go sing in one band I mm -hmm. come sing in one band I don't care about it I sing in one band Okay. And, and I was 16 at the time. Mm -hmm. So he, he put a band together. From the community? No. It's so ironic. These people, are, at the first me I'll meet them. Oh. Because the, one of the men was a man named Rika Baka. One of the hmm. most dangerous guitarists me ever run into. That the man, the man that play guitar in a royal school of music. In England. Oh. Yeah, so as you can, if you hear me said once a year, I said that you can mm -hmm. tell it in the depth of music that man, you know, the knowledge and the music, where him, you know, and that thing. So 
Kingston. And then them say when them come back, he will get a place and met. We and them can stay in he go rent a place and we and them can stay and them have a band there. Okay. So that's after him leave now, them leave and went back to Kingston. Mm -hmm. Clark is still me I'm me I'm still there they practice and do a thing and him had another youth where we forget him name now. He would just play the keyboard. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming and Clark bring them in and then I start doing a little thing and Clark usually play the bass, you know? Right. And so between me, Clark, a brother named Henry, mm -hmm. Henry usually play the, 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 the mm -hmm. guitar and Clark play the bass, mm -hmm. guitar and I can't remember the youth who usually play keyboard and now my next brother usually play drums. I can't remember his name either. And I think I usually be on hands. God, you know? But, so after, about six of you then? Right, it was about six of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and five yeah, six of us. And what well, I was the lead singer at the time and we start we do the rehearsal rehearse and then from there you now. We start go to some little places like uh, back in a black river, some you know, mm -hmm. different, different little places, go play mm -hmm. some bars. Started out like that, you know, go play some <laughs> bars and. You know. And how did that help your development into the music industry, Bob? Well, I want to tell you, you know, it's, 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 it's because it's, it, my, my singing is basically a bit is like. It's just a gift then. But I said, me can't no get yes. no training, me no get none of them kind of things. Eh. My brother just hear me and him is a man where he may have ear for music too. So he just come and just say, yo, come sing mm -hmm. at the bar. And when he come and me, he start playing the music and me, they regurgitate what me I hear. He just was so satisfied that he, ma, he just said, just rehearse that. Just say, tell, me, tell me if you pick some songs where me, okay. he say me, you know. And mm -hmm. me just pick out the songs, then. but them time the music try to we just pick out no sing no Bob Marley because then every time I open my mouth to sing about Marley song, them say me sound identical like Bob. Wow. Yeah man. Okay. So me, that's how you get the name that's Bob. That's how we get the name Bob. Okay. Me hear myself on tape and now and I never really know us know Sammy a singer until me, me realize Sammy a singer. <laughs> Wow, wow. In, in the beginning when me hear it, you know, yeah. me, you just see it and never and, and when me pay attention I realize I'm me and sing without it it's so it's not so it's like never, wow. So yeah. you would say that the Bob Marley was a Jamaican musical um the artist yeah. that influence. you would say he inf influenced what, what you. One of my greatest influence was listen, growing up and listen to Bob. In mm -hmm. in in a sense to one because he was more his songs were a little bit more I would say more dramatic, mm -hmm. more more revolutionary, you right. know, and 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 you know social even conscious. He, he, and social consciousness, and even in I love songs. Then there were you know, film love songs. Then were, they were more Realistic, intelligent, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like you know, and yes. so me 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 jelly, me love jelly love listen to Bob. Yes, and not, and not only Bob alone, but me listen to other artists, mm -hmm. but me, 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 when me, when me sing Bob Marley song, through them say me sound like a Bob. It just was just so natural, you know. Okay. And okay. some usually sing a lot of Bob Marley songs. And how did people respond to that? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, Bob them call me. You know? <laughs> yeah, man, okay. Bob them call me. Man. Okay. I <laughs> do sing on stage already and Rita Marley and them hear me sing and run come. I ask me if I sing if I know bad card. 
<laughs> yeah, man. When you pass here, I sing and them come behind the stage and ask me, You can't sing my yard, right? I'm going to say, Man, I know it, you know. Them, you remember you just the time come right? when you just come, come up, man? Too, I'll go and okay. coke, we go and, um, uh, when, when they pop coconut pop, I mean, I sing mm -hmm. the song and, and, and stage and finish that song. We tell them, Come behind the stage and I say, You know, backyard? I and mean, I said, No. <laughs> when just release, you know. That's yeah. how, you know. Oh, close. Close, yes. this thing, the voice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so from there, how did your how did your career develop? Well, from, but, uh, from well, that point. From well, we started out with playing with this with with I'm um, sorry, with Clarky, mm -hmm. and then what happened now? That band, me, 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 me we call it the Stepping Stones. Mm -hmm. The name of that band was the Stepping Stone. So we, 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 uh, we start out with, as we say, Scully. The Zoot seemed that they said great Scully percussionist because we, when Rick had come back uh, to Anchovy, he bring back Scully with him. Scully mm -hmm. was a percussionist, right? Yeah, Scully was a percussionist. Great percussionist throughout Kingston. Right. He played yeah. the enough, enough, he played enough man song. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Who everybody in play yeah. for everybody, man. In play yeah. for everybody. But you had some great moments in your career, Bob. Tell yeah. us about some of those great moments. Well, when the man, me and the band, as um, stepping stones, we worked mm -hmm. for a little while. Yes. And then the man them because two them come from town and you know them, them a big man them. Me, me and the only youth. Clark he was more Clark he was a stable person because he have a job and work with UDC mm -hmm. and the rest of man them have a job mm -hmm. and them a music them a play constant so them a feel something going at all time so mm -hmm. the band even though we had the, the, the band was we come together and do a couple of shows it never lasted for no probably about six five six seven months at most and the mm -hmm. man them going back to Kingston and and when them go back at town, them not really come back a month ago. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Um, Clarky decides say he more chan, he more get some little youth now, some other youth, and build a band around them. We build a band, and him 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 us move on and make the band, you know, because mm -hmm. he take over because he's a he a bigger man for we. Right. And so he just say alright. So one day you now, one of a bridging, he named Douglas. His mm -hmm. brother, he, his sister was a teacher. So one day Clark he got up, come up by our where we were living mm -hmm. with him guitar, and him see. She saw him with the guitar and asked me, "Say Clark, you play music? Me never know you play music." And she said, "Him say yeah, well I try, I try put a little thing together too." So it's, and he said, like a brother playing music, playing <laughs> melody, and say, yeah, tell him to come check with. So, <laughs> so from there, so now, him, the Douglas, come, one day come check with. And then when him come now, the next time, he care about Bella and Bucky. Mm -hmm. And that those are the two, Bella the drummer, and, and when the drummer and the singer, at the time when I look at you who can see but he was in drama when him come in first mm -hmm. and them come back and them we and them round at the yard at the time and them I learn the bass and you know right, around right. the drum and you know so we me and them did at the time cook and do the thing and eat yeah. you know so then gradually then we we rehearse and we do a show with them mm -hmm. me and them do a show over the youth center no, not the youth center, but it's secondary school, over the same school that they all were going. And then the show did go down, everybody raving and, you know, the school friends, the whole, you know, raving over it. And so from there, yeah. it was like, hey, they all want to do this. And so they just decided to come, go full of it on the night. And it gradually, gradually build up, build up, build up. And then, one at a time now it reached a stage where the 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 drummer now at a let bring in another that I'll Bella now bring in Lancelot at a, the man now where fame 
this uh, film son now that had the man with the money now film son mm -hmm. now bring him bring him in as a drummer and so he was there and playing and play. so one day you now what what happened he was a kind of sickly youth you know mm -hmm. of asthma mm -hmm. and so we were when we, we were racing at up uh, at where we, we were the band was at anchovy mm -hmm. and them liver bone that in bogheights you know, mm -hmm. you know going into into town so the mother said because two she's a little Chinese lady, kind of, you know. That's the house we get to live in. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like, you know. Yeah. She fussy and everything. Mm -hmm. She start so well, and because when we have rehearsal and rehearsal over seven, eight o'clock at night, and them something, then you know, she has said, she don't want him to be on the road them time at night, and they have to look right because, mm -hmm. you know, you come home and then the thing can happen to him, and like, right. so they decide, say, okay. They will want them want if we can transfer the band and come and feed them house because them have the facility can you know absorb mm -hmm. us then. Yeah. So we say yeah. okay and they all yeah, decide to go by their house and set up the instrument there, blah blah, blah everything and do the rehearsal from their house and you know. And they started out like that. But after me go down the first couple of times at the rehearsal and the meeting and thing. We went kind of just two more a man where my, my 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 lifestyle wasn't me never grew in them kind of richness there and nothing like that in my <laughs> family now. so but when we go now for them thing is like everybody them you know but that you don't say that these are some rich black people and what that in a that mm -hmm. in a free time and that so we don't term it them have money and them you them live you know good life mm -hmm. so them when we go now and me, me see, see see that and me i say but me, me, me more roots is me not me not me not i know my style is i know my life with them them where the prim and proper <laughs> and me was a roots so me, say, me just decide say you know say me not me just me not tell them me just decide say me not go back up there mm -hmm. yeah because they may eat pork and and them, you know, because so them when they might eat them big dinner, they might offer you to and me no one dip me and feel like, you know. So me I said, mm -hmm. me no one go for the yard because me no one them eat because me no eat meat and them something and me no one them might eat and they offer me and they go refuse and they feel like, you know. So me stop go up, you know, and just because then but at that time you now me move from Anchovy mm -hmm. and and live I went to live in Flanka. Okay, That's you are a young man by this. Right, Mister, Mister, I was about, about nineteen at that time. Mm -hmm. When we moved from Anchovy, I moved back to Flanka. Moved to Flanka mm -hmm. now. That's back into my bay. And they decide say, me do so go and do do something else. You know, so I start to look a job, and then we get a job out of Intercontinental, in the kitchen. At night time with some of my other virgin them, cause me, me know a couple man in the kitchen and them say if you come out they come get a work. So me just boom and go out there and boom them up. Me get a work here in the kitchen at night time with virgin them and do all the at night time. So when did the career gain more momentum? After me after leave, one day me there, one day me did, me did the work mm -hmm. and me did it and them they say, them see me see them downtown one day and them said to me say. Bridging. The band members. Yeah, me see the, mm -hmm. see the band members there, and they say, Bridging, we we'll do a show, you know. Because me and them did show, because the first sun splash in mm -hmm. Jamaica, you know. 1979, you know. Mm -hmm. And me and them, a future win. Me, few, me, Quesi, Okita, and Bella, and Q-Lide. Mm -hmm. And we, we had said 1979. Tell us about that. Uh, 1979, mm -hmm. when. Reggae Sun Splash started out in, mm -hmm. in, in, in Mantube because Mantube was a place where they bring the Reggae Sun Splash first started. Right. At Jared Park. Right. We, we, we were there and, you know, we were the, as we said, we were the talk of the town at the time. Okay. Every, and if every man, every, every, everybody in town was this young band, this youth man, future wing. Because there weren't another youth band around at the time either. What was the name of the band? The future wing. Future Wind. Right, Future Wind. Mm -hmm. And so 
when we started, when, when that happened now, with 79, when the organizers, we reggae sun clash, mm -hmm. them, them, them met us and tell us what we would do. But they want us on the show. We want us as an opening up because we are reggae, we are we is a Mumbai band. Okay. So we said, wow, yes, that, you know, we said, all right, and we boom and, and we went and did the show and everything. We were, and the same day, as a matter of fact, we rehearse it and finish rehearse. When we come off of the stage and we walk, go back to our vehicle, we look, we see Bob Marley come in. Him and, oh. yeah. Mr. Baba come to him and family man and some more, I think it was Carly, that the judge of my family man brother. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Bob come up and me walk, me go up, up and yell him. Mm -hmm. And he have a cut over him, what's his name? Left eye. He have a cut over mm -hmm. him, left eye, with a, a band aid over him, left mm -hmm. eye. And I said, What happened to the dread? I said, Well, look at me and that thing, man. You know, well, everything is everything, man. It's good, you know. I say, yeah, man, mm -hmm. good thanks, and you know, me yell him up, that was it. Me yeah. yelling up, Bob, and you know, and Bob <laughs> responded. responded, and yes. you know, yeah, and yes. you know, God, see me see with a plaster, pa sticking Watch. plaster over him, far over him, pan him eye top, and I say, yes. what happened to the jail? And I say, yeah, man, that's a minor thing, and you know, I say, yeah, man, but everything good, and I say, yeah, man, go on, <laughs> go, you know, do a thing, you know, yes. check, go some, so we'll check, and I say, all right. And we walk on, cause we were mu and he realized so we were musician too, because we were walking off the, the stage with, the, uh, with, 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 with our instrument, you know. Mm -hmm. So he and then we went, went out and them we them went on stage, got them sound check and thing. So after that, right? After that scene, we we we. We didn't do Sunsplash again. In all, we do we a fourth we appear on Sunsplash four times. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Four times. So those were some very memorable moments memorable for moments. you. Yeah. Okay. And you actually shared the stage with Bob at any of these events? The first one. Mm-hmm. Bob was on the stage. The, the okay. first one. Because yes. Bob, Bob closed the show that night. Remember, That's we were the first, we were the opening yes. act, 1979. Yes. And Bob was there that night, but Bob closed the show. Awesome, awesome. How did your career move after the, these, these points? 1980, I don't do know show, me and them don't know show. Then we see them one, as we see them we went downtown one day, and we see them, I said, boy, we go, we go to work in the bridge in one minute. Because they usually see me every time and say, What happened if I don't come? What happened if I don't come? And I always yeah. tell them, Yeah, and I don't go. And yeah. then one next day, you know, this day, I see them, I say, Well, why are we going to work? We have Israel vibration and we have. And they might tell me, Who and who and, you know, Barrington leave and who and who and the show. And I say, Yeah. So I say, Well, that's all mm -hmm. like a big show. So they say, Yeah, man, come in, man. We can't want to come sing, Bridget. And I say, All right. Oh, mm -hmm. and I go, go up the yard and me go check them and we rehearse and everything and everything and the day of the show when we go the day of the show now when we go into the theatre and place crowded and I go on stage then mm -hmm. but, but because as we say what me usually do then me usually us what they usually do me usually walk on sing and then come off of the stage. Okay. So when we walk on on the stage and then start play the Bob Marley and I'm we sing the first Bob Marley. I think it was um Crazy Ballad and we start singing and then and the place every, every, the place mash up like you know the the place appear nice in the theater man it's like you know me we the man of a peer nice the man so man say a fool can't tell me about that and you know peer every nice you know they mean and like you know I <laughs> said, wow, what a response, you know, because, yes. but this was the first time performing in Montego Bay, also mm -hmm. for the public, because I do some show in the area, but mostly in a bar. Right. So they never, that, that, that extent, extension of crowd, me never really have that. Mm -hmm. So they, when we go in a the theater now where there were more people, and as we said, the, the crowd was extended out where, you know, so much people there is like more than a hundred, two hundred, three hundred people at the theater. 
So at that mm -hmm. moment, then, some of the people were the first time I see me. They sing and know say, but them them know me. Cause Mr. Barnaby, mm -hmm. you know, the man see her face mm -hmm. every day and all about the place, but they don't know some is a singer. Correct. So when them realize and them see me and see that, yo, the place catch a fire. <laughs> so from that now, it's like everywhere me go, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, you, you man, you, you get enough respect because people know yes. so you can do your thing it, yes. and so then it's just that it, yeah. the momentum just start built yes. from there and, and from there what happened how, how did you move me and them just start I mean in terms of your career your it, music career everything does I would say does take, take off from right, there from there you start right original music we start right original music mm -hmm. them and yeah, them and them it. start they are play because you know you change the name of the band but from future right? after well after we got for a couple of years then we changed the band from about another two i was about two years yeah. after that, we changed the band because that the old band break up so we mm -hmm. changed the band from future to ambassador but and they're basically the same members okay you see, you were the lead vocal but the lead vocal official of the ambassador you know okay so them there's so now we Branch off, we start do some whole power work out of the inferno, mm -hmm. disco inferno. Mm -hmm. Because we are cooks, the owner of um, Walton B. Cooks, we, we him, 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 ad, him admire us. So, him, all, him, him one, one of them time, him uh, asked us to be resident man out there. And we, mm -hmm. we take the job and as a resident man out there in place. And from there, you now, why me jelly though? Every weekend, him just call me and you inside him office. And, yeah, and just say, hey, wanna go at home, go get. Which, him just just give us the the the, the stage, mm -hmm. and and just give us money and tell us. Him just leave that part to us. Whichever yeah. artist we want go at home, go find and bring them back in at the, bring them back, mm -hmm. make them first show in a theme place. So we usually go at home, go, go book the artist, them, me and them, me and you, mm -hmm. and come back and the weekend rehearse with the show and do the show the weekend. So we usually, that, what, what, that was one of the work we do every weekend. And we, while we put the show on, we get to participate because right. we, are the, we are the opening right. band to also. Right. Then the, um, if you father bring in some foreign groups like Eddie the Kendricks. Trumps, Trumps mm -hmm. Eddie, Eddie Kendricks, Dennis Williams, and what are them name? The Manhattans, and mm -hmm. you know, what the next? What the next? Manhattans and what the next? Yeah, what the next one name again? Mm. A couple of them. Right? Oh. Yeah, you know, we, we, as we, we were the opening act for them. Right, all right. All those groups, you know. How long did you stay at the Disco Inferno? Until um, 1984. And after that, what was your next move? As a, uh, as a we, uh, we, we, we were there recording and doing some mm -hmm. whole different things, musical, everything. Mm -hmm. Play the Great River, play Negril. We just having fun, play music and just enjoy living. Uh, the music was yeah. just providing them. We, yes. We, we live good and enjoy music. And, yes. you know, we, we play all over the place, everybody in Norway and you know, it was as we say it was the highlight of our life at that yeah, time, you yeah, know, because yeah. we recognize everybody in Norway and the way we go is like, you know, yeah, we, we you know. And then we decide say, we well, come America. Yes, and tell us about your transition from Jamaica to America. Uh, that's, that's, In, uh, and how did that impact your career yeah, as a musician? When we leave, when when nineteen eighty four now, the whole of this we did it and it's like the but we, we it started out from that like eighty eighty one, eighty one, eighty eighty one. Well, mm -hmm. we, 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 well, we went to Honduras eighty one. Okay. Yeah. And then we were there in what, two months? Yeah. In Honduras. <laughs> and mm -hmm. after we went back home now, it's like, you know, I guess the, the traveling bug came about, but, yeah. you know, we started, we, we, we went to NASA, NASA mm -hmm. I think it was twice, do, do some shows in NASA, went back home and 
Then after that, we, we, we while we were home, then, then we said America, everybody, the whole of our friend then start mm -hmm. leave the common America. Everybody fly out, fly out, you know, then one week right. we go, the next man gone, one next man gone. So, and then, um, the bridge that uh, the band leader at the time, he, he, he had a green card. Mm -hmm. So he was automatically had he automatically had to leave. Right. So then Patrick went and got a visa. Right. And he was leaving also. Mm -hmm. So it's like the entire group everybody was, was just, just on the different part move then different yes, move. Yes. So at that time no me just me this time because me and the band leader we, we were close at the time because mm -hmm. me and what one at the time. It's just me and him living at a house up there. Um, yes. Gigantic house. <laughs> yes. I just see two of us there, you know? Yes. And then we, we his mother and, and his father and everybody, he must say, my go, come on, come on, America, you know? And then me, me, me because I'm here, I'm alone with that house, so it's just the same thing, just, you know, decide, so yeah. I'm going come America. Okay. So when you guys came to America now, how did that how did the group function that's another, after that, that? That's another chapter again. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. you um it's when we come when we come mm -hmm. the, 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 the the like when I say when we come America the, the expectation right. was it, 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 it wasn't as 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 you expected we expected yes yes yeah, it's like we're delusional in our thinking <laughs> when we had say we had left yard and come, and come you know it was okay yeah, it didn't work it didn't work like way yeah. so that impacted the group negatively in a sense okay because what happened now when we had co we come and decide we were going to come and get together and do it start with things start doing thing here in america right. we realized it wasn't like that it, Things were different. Different, yes. different. Yes. Because so did the band break up? Yeah, and well, this? actually, it's like we, we when we come here, we then we never even get together. Okay. We never even get together because okay. when we come, Patrick come and me, me, and the, the mm -hmm. man he like that mm -hmm. he came and it everything just different. Everything yes. just changed. Yes. Because when when Patrick come. We all uh, live around uh, the band leader mother place. Right. And yeah. then we realize uh, it's we, we because we remember we had this thing luck at Jamaica, you know, we know if we, we just get get up the next morning and we have our job to go because we have the job from we you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people call us and we get job mm -hmm. and, but in America it was it's it's a total, total different yes, thing. Yes, of course. Of so course. when we come here you now and the, like we get the shock of our life, realize that no one else you go. When so we we started to hit Patrick off and start work because he need an income and yes. you know so him off and start work and basically yes. same thing with all of us. Yes, we all yes. Have to start. Have to get a job. We have to get jobs now. Right. Him. And so, but when we come, me start though with a man because. There was a guy in, in Southwest Miami named Louis Chase. He had a band called the Imartas. And mm -hmm. so me had, I, had, I had hooked up with them through mm -hmm. some other friends of mine that was playing. We had a band, we had a band member by the name of Fenton. He was going to play guitar. So when I came here, he, he was here already because he came here from 82. And he was, I came 84. And he was here from 82 because he got a he got a job he was in the band with us in jamaica but he got a job on a ship so as you see when we started say so some of the musicians never break off and mm -hmm. that was he got a job on a ship and then he came and while he was here after him leave the ship and come out and hook up with them yes there. and they, they had a man it was a chinese brother who had a man named louis chase he had a man and so one of them, I martyrs. So when me come off and meet up with Fenton, he introduced me to them. And at the time, them never have a lead singer. So me just start work with them and start as a lead singer. Right, know? right. So Bob, let me ask you now, as 
as a visually impaired person now, what challenges have you faced in terms of moving ahead with your career, writing music well, and composing, the, getting your lyrics together? That part of it, is, it becomes a little bit, little, I would say a little easy in the sense that because me, me, me have, a, have the computer, access to the computer and we can you know, we use a computer for the, the writing now. Uh, it's like, I may have mm -hmm. a program on the computer that allows the computer to talk to me. So, I use, it, me use the, the, the computer to write the song them now. And, you know, the, 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 the program that allows, help me to navigate the, you know, the computer. So okay, okay, charge. okay. So, I work with that, you know. Yes, and you you compose that way right, and, okay, and right, everything. Right. Okay, okay. Um, before we wrap up here, Bob, mm -hmm. let me ask you: Is there a specific message in your in the songs or in your compositions me, that me, you me, me put love forward? Social, me a social conscious person. Okay. Uh, yeah, me, 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 there's always a message in my song. If it's, if it's a love song, any song. It's so funny, last night I was writing a song. They say, um, the sun, the sun is rising. And the sun is, the thing that they say, the sun is rising and the wolves are coming. They are coming to <laughs> eat your sheep. <laughs> Yeah, and it, okay. is, it is a reality. Yes. <laughs> They're coming to eat your sheep. But this, yes. this song now is a song where we try to point out you know, it, it, we, we're living in a society where um, people don't realize the, the, things that are hap the things that are happening now, mm -hmm. you, you have to be very alert and aware mm -hmm. because. You can't take anything for granted. So what this the sheep symbolize in, in your song the here sheep, now, Bob? The sheep the sheep symbolize good people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The good people the the, 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 the the wolves are coming to eat your sheep. Okay, so the who sheep, are the wolves? The wolves the wolf are the, the people in water, man. The, the okay. devil people, man. The devil people, man. I guess they take different forms, right? Yeah, they take they different take, forms. So you have. Okay. The wolves different are coming tools. to eat your sheep. Okay. You know? so this, yeah, and they're coming this, to eat your keeps. Your keeps, okay. Your keeps and your sheep. And your sheep, right. okay. So, so, you know, it's just part of what is when, it's like when I say, oh, it's, when. When we say certain metaphor we are using as a musician, it, it, it's only only if another well a per, somebody who who definitely if they say have a vision or a sifar mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. can interpret what you yes. mean. Yes, yes, you know? yes. So yeah. for those who are listening, what do what what um. <laughs> What, so you're you're saying then, Bob, that you hope that the message will bring some form of awareness right. to the persons who are listening. listening. Every time. Okay. You may have a love song with us right to a while ago. Love come calling on my name. You're listening to it. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, that's the one. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> there were a time when I was alone. I never had no one to love or to hold. But those songs, you know, it's like we just, yeah. then just come, some of them songs, they just come like me, like I was around the back and the, 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 the thought just come yes. to me immediately. And we just start home it and but then we go up and get on the computer. And, and get it, this. yes, the inspiration, you know? yes. Right. Sometimes, um, and the cards, mm -hmm. then we, we have to try, as we say, the same thing, we, we, we get the cards and man, then we call him and make him hum them yes. to him, man, you know? Yes. You know, so. We work yes, them out like yes, that, you yes. Know? One last question for you, Bob. Mm -hmm. Um, what advice do you have for aspiring musicians, especially those who may be having similar challenges such as visual impairment? Any advice you would have for them? Well, you know, I will mean, say, you know, just keep on keeping at what you're doing, you know, because you know, mm -hmm. you, you you never you never stop achieving 
regardless of how you may mm -hmm. look at it right until your eyes them permanently closed correct because as a living person you know we we, we, we have this tenacity within us for keep going and keep on keep moving and doing it's a challenge for living but you can't give up because that's right. what life is all about right you know? so we just keep going at it and you know and some point and some time you find you know you'll get some reward some of the satisfaction does come and when them come sometimes you just he just lay back and smile and <laughs> yes lay back and smile and say, Man, yes after all this work you know yes finally you know but that's it you yes. know the, the, the reward is just the satisfaction i get from the, the from people acknowledging it you know right yeah right. The acknowledgement that we get back from and the, uh, as we said that's basically a satisfaction you know yes yes because uh, we're not deep, we fact we not really deep for money, you know, we're deep for love because we love, Correct. you know. For all so the right we, yeah, reasons. Yeah, we, we do this thing from we I and I with me, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> so yes. So at this point, it's you know, like even when I, I, we go out the same way without any, uh, you know. Right. Any, 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 what we say now, any hesitation. Or, yes. Yeah, just. Anything. Yeah. 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 We love yeah. it, so we're going to do it regardless of what That's it, right. You know? That's yeah. right. Bob, want to thank you for talking to me today. Thank you for sharing your experiences and your journey with us. Yeah, man. It's and we pleasure. hope, yeah, we hope to hear more good things coming from you right. because we know you have things in the pipeline working on. Definitely. And we are looking forward to getting good vibes from you definitely definitely all right all right bob thank you thanks again blessings it's a pleasure it's blessings a pleasure. the pleasure is mine